Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today, you know, I had to review this cigar being in bodybuilding and everything for so long. This is the Hulk, the Viaje Hulk, part of the Skull and Bone series. As you can see, it comes in a green skull, green for the Hulk. There is the density. And what a density it is, and it's a very weighty cigar. Um, five and a quarter by 60. That's a 60 ring gauge there. Um, not much is known about the blend. Actually, I don't know anything about the blend. Um, for comparison purposes, though, it comes also a Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner, who became the Hulk, who then went back to Bruce Banner. Here is the difference. Here's the two cigars. The Bruce Banner is five and a quarter also, but it's 56 ring gauge, and this is 60. So it's not a lot of difference, but there's some. Um, so there's how the densities are going to look, but uh, we're not going to do the Bruce Banner today. We'll do it later. Today is the Hulk. Uh, these come in 25 count bundles. So uh, either one. So not much I can tell you about them. I mean, I'm sure it's Nicaraguan, but let's get right to it. The new Biaje Skull and Bone series, The Hulk. Biaje continues to put them out. New cigars, that is. This is a big ring. This, this, and it's, it is so dense. I'm, I'm thinking we'll be here a while. Five and a quarter by 60. That's a big cigar. But that is a good draw. And look, it even looks dense, even in the, the clipped picture. Draw is fine. It's perfect. take long to get the flavors it's a very nice tangy cedary citrus quite a bit of brown sugar and cinnamon quite a bit there is a, a caramel note there is a very creamy nutmeg to go along with that caramel so it's a lot of smooth flavors right at the top chocolate and quite a bit of black coffee black pepper at around eight to begin with initially there are a lot of nice, sweet, dark flavors. I do not know if that's a Maduro uh, wrapper. It really doesn't look like it. It's a very lighter shade of Maduro if it is, but it, they're definitely nice, thick chocolate notes. So that's how you start. Nice start. Very nice start. First third. This is a very good cigar. I like it. It's more of a citrus now. Quite a bit of a creamy nutmeg and that caramel. They are combining. Plenty of brown sugar, plenty of cinnamon. Chocolate notes are still there. And the black coffee in its uh, medium to full body. Finish has caramel, nutmeg, and brown sugar with a nice amount of lingering black pepper. You know, viajes with me have been hit and miss. This is more or less a hit. It's, it, it's starting out that way anyway. It's very good. I like these flavors, they really appeal. To me. 
The first third is starting off at 94. I had to check my notes. 94. With potential to move up if it keeps going. I like it. Let's see how the second third goes. End of the second third. This is a slow burning cigar. You get a lot of mileage out of this. Chocolate notes are coming out a little more. There's a nice citrusy cedar, maybe maybe more cedar now. Seems to be some underlying leather. Still got the same brown sugar, cinnamon, uh, some caramel, and nutmeg, and black coffee. But the underlying leather is interesting. Full body. <laughs> Finish is basically unchanged. Maybe it's a little chocolate on the finish now. But this is a pretty good cigar. You know, Skull and Bone series generally pretty good, but I um, wasn't sure what to make of the superhero versions. Regardless, let's just talk about the cigar as it is. It's pretty good. I'm holding 94 for the second third. And, uh, you know, what a burn time. Let's see what the final third brings. Well, we're down to the end. So let's wrap it up. This is a pretty consistent cigar. And what a crazy burn time. You got two hours out of this thing. Now, I'm not sure you will, but that's what I got. More of a citrus now. It kind of goes back and forth between citrus and cedar, but that's okay. Plenty of brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg. Nutmeg's in check. It's, it's, it's very moderate and it mixes with the caramel gives a little extra sweetness and a smoothness underlying leather doesn't jump out at you but it's there chocolate and black coffee pepper was good throughout it, was, it never got below like seven and a half finish is basically unchanged like i said before it might be a little more chocolate on there full bodied pretty good cigar Biajes are hit and miss, but this was a pretty good one for me. I'll maintain 94. It's just 94 is across the board. So your overall score is 94. Now, I did check, and I got mine from Small Batch Cigar, and you can get these for about $67 for a five-pack. So it's not, you know, it's a $12 a piece or plus. 12 plus, <clears throat> but look at the burn time. It's incredible. Good cigar. So there you have it. The new Viaje Skull and Bone series, The Hulk 94. <music>